Hello guys, my name is Desmond and I welcome you to my lesson for today where we'll be looking at your mathematics. Obviously, we are on a number pattern. So ladies and gentlemen, please do allow me to say it is very much important that I say it is very, very much important because what I'm about to say, it's massively, 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 massively. To be massively important, ladies and gentlemen, that I say a day without learning something new, it's a day wasted. By so saying, please, 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 please. Please do make sure that by the end of each and every lesson that I conduct, you learn something new. Zero is very, very much important over there. Okay, so now, as you can see over there, we'll be looking at question three of the question paper sent in the group. Most importantly, under 3.1, we are given a statement which says, uh, given the finite linear pattern given the finite most importantly linear pattern okay uh, before we start answering these questions can i just have a a last confirmation if all is in order from your side am i audible and again uh, can you clearly hear me when i speak Yes, sir. Last one to confirm. Sir, yes. is, is it clear from... Okay. I just got a last confirmation that it is clear. Um, guys, this is what you should at all the times remember. Under patterns, um, sequences, or series. The first thing that you need to be aware of, it is the type of a pattern that you are dealing with. Depending on the type of a pattern that you're dealing with, if it is a linear, then you know you need the first CD. If it is a geometric, you know you need a, the ratio, the first a common ratio. Quadratic, a, you also need to get to the second common difference. Then once you have a, those and you know the type, obviously, then um, you are in a better position to start answering the questions. So in this case, we do know very well that we are dealing with a linear pattern, which means uh, we need to know the first common difference. So let's quickly do that. Remember, I haven't looked at the questions. I'm just focusing on the given uh, statement or on the given information. So the first CD, what are we having there? So we're having 17 minus 12. What is that? I think it's five. Then we're having, a, what is it? 22 minus 17. What is that? It has to be 5 a, because a, it has to be a common CD. But most importantly, make sure you punch it on a calculator so that you don't assume that because this is 5, a, and then you just assume that difference to also be 5. Because sometimes if it happens that you mistakenly uh, get that one you will just assume that it is the same as that one whereas somewhere somehow you made a mistake okay i th think this is enough for us to, to start having a look the questions uh, 
But most importantly, let's just write down the relevant formula, which is Tn is equals to, uh, we are having A plus into N minus 1 A D. So this is the formula that we might be using. So I think now uh, we've got all the guns, we've got all the bullets, we've got all the missionaries uh, that we need in order to approach uh, the following questions. I'm not sure if everyone uh, is clear there. Larissa, are you sure you got all that I explained? Um, yes, uh, are we together there? Matapelo, are you okay that side? Because now we are going to fight. Are you ready? Okay, so the first question, which is allocated to marks. Remember, guys, all questions allocated one or two or three marks. Just know that it's just a matter of you identifying uh, the correct uh, formula, if you'll be using a formula, a uh, correct substitution, and then a final answer. It is as easy as that. So let's see. The first question says, determine a formula for the nth term of the pattern. Determine a formula for the nth term of the pattern. Hmm. The key word they is that they want a formula. Most importantly for the nth term. What is nth term in short? Tn. So it's more like they want a formula of Tn. So this is what they want you to provide, which means Tn will be equals to, you just substitute there. What is the A value? A value obviously is 12, being the term A1, plus in 2. Remember, guys, they want the formula in the form of N. So that is why you are just going to write that N as it is, so that it's a formula in the form of N, as they said, the nth A the formula for the nth term. So most importantly, uh, you D in brackets, which is a uh, five. Remember, mathematically, you always want to work out where you see the bracket. So in this case, Mzozozo, we are having 12 that we plus with, remember, that by that, that by that. What are you guys getting there? I think we're having 5N a uh, minus a uh, five. So now, Let's see, uh, when you say uh, finally 12 minus uh, 5, uh, what are you getting there? You are getting 5 plus 5n. Is this what all of you guys are getting there? No, say it's 7. No, it's 7. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. A very good indication that you guys are paying full attention. Okay, that means we are together. So now uh, that gives me an indication that you guys did understand how to approach that question. And this is where you score yourself a mark, a mark. That's how you get yourself to max. So I'm pretty much sure that if everything is still clear, you guys are able to, to write down uh, those answers. So now I'm just going to remove all of that. So that was a straight for that um, question. So le let's say maybe 3.1.2. Uh, what are they saying there? But let me just write our final answer there, which is that you guys said it's 7. Uh, what was that? I think it was 5N there. Okay. And um, uh, 3.1.2, the question says calculate the value of T12. Calculate the value of T12. Bantubagiti. Mzozozo, can you see what they did to N? I'm not sure if you are able to notice uh, 
what they did there. Tabi Tabi Memel. Do you know what is that? But where they have end, they just substituted a, a 12. So that means a, wherever we see N from that a uh, but can you guys could is it can you clean it not very I don't know if it's just me, but I can't hear you, so. Uh, Same here, so I can't I'm hear you. Not sure if now. Can you hear me? Your line is not good. Your line is not good. Hello, I come back. Uh, how about now? Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, can you see me? Everything is clear now. Yes. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Bunolo. Uh, I was saying, can you see that uh, in place of N, they've actually substituted 12. Meaning, what we do is just to substitute exactly that where we see um, a... N. So it's more like this is term number one is 12, term number two is 17, term number three is 22, term number four we can do by doing that. But now they want to know what will be the value for term number 12. So instead of us having to say 12 plus 5 gives us that, plus 5 gives us that, plus 5 plus blah, 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 we just use this formula. So these formulas are actually shortcuts to get to whatever position that you want to get to. Okay, so now let's see. What are you guys getting there? A fifty sixty is it sixty then seven years? It has to be a sixty seven. So that's how you easily score yourself two marks. Way correct substitution and your final answer. A uh, I think that also was actually a straight forward a uh, question. Do you agree? A uh, them zozo. Oh, no, sir. Uh, but wait, don't allow me to continue before uh, we are on the same page. Uh, did you understand what I've done there, Mzozozo, or does it need a quick re-explanation? I understand, sir. I understand. I got it. Okay, 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 okay. So now I'm just going to remove all of this. So remember, guys, from time to time, refer to that uh, photo that was sent in the group because that's where I'm getting all these questions. Okay, so now another question which is also allocated um, to Max. They say, determine the number of terms in the pattern. In most cases, Bantubagiti, where you are given the first few terms of the number pattern, and they do dot, 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 and they do that, and they give you that, sorry, that last number. It's in most cases where you will find this question where they say, how many terms exist in that a pattern. In simple terms, it's like you're having two, four, six, and then they do da, 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 and then uh, they say 10. Then they ask you, how many terms in that pattern? So it's more like starting from that term, which is two. Uh, how many terms are you going to get 
which will end up taking you to the last term being that one. So as soon as they do da da da, they do that. This means this is the last term. So that pattern or sequence, it actually ends there. Then you know it is two, four, six, you add, what is that? That is two, two. Then that means you add by two, it gives you eight. You must add by two and then, oh, already takes you to 10. Then it means it's term one, two, three, four. So that means it's actually a five a terms a for that number pattern. Same principle applies there. So now, how do you work it out? Obviously, you have a derived your shortcut over there. So that means from that formula that you derived, which says Tn, a, that, a, what is it, plus that. Um, is it a question coming through? Remember, uh, in case if it's not a question, um, just make sure to have your mics uh, muted. So I'm not sure if you guys would agree with me if I take that last number and equate it to uh, that with the aim of calculating for the number so that I know how many uh, terms are there in that uh, sequence. Then how am I going to work it out? I think you take this to the other side, then you have uh, that which is equals to four. What is this? What is that? Uh, 165. Someone is saying 165, which is equals to 5n. And then obviously to remove that five, you do that. Uh, obviously, you're going to have 33. N, which is equal to that. 33. 33. Someone is 33. 30. Is it everyone who's getting a 33? Ma, uh, yes, there's too. someone with the name M-A-A. -A, uh, our mother. Mother of the nation. Uh, does it make sense? Are you also getting 33 uh, there, honorable member? Uh, Umi, can you just confirm for us if you are getting that same answer from your side? Yes, sir. I get 33. Okay. Um, so that's how you score yourself a two marks. Normally, for correct substitution, all of this, they assume that uh, you know those are the steps and then you get to uh, the final answer. So now uh, let's quickly move on to the next uh, question and see how we work it out. Um, I think I might need to remove all of this because uh, we are actually moving on to a question which is uh, independent. Um, that is 3.2. So here they are saying given the first four terms of a linear pattern. What are those? We are having three. Uh, what are we having? We are having X. Maybe let me do this and space them uh, such that we've got enough space. We are having, no, no, what am I doing? Okay, so we are having our first term being three the second term being x, uh, third term being y, uh, and then uh, the last one being 30. Sure. Uh, what are we having there, Bantubagiti? It seems like... Um, hmm, okay, this is all that we are given. Uh, but most importantly... When I started this lesson, I did indicate to you that before you even start looking at the questions, there are a few things that you need to be aware of. I'm not sure if there's anyone who'd like uh, to just quickly remind us of those. Remember, mention your name and I will recognize you, honorable member. Do not straight away um, answer that question. <laughs> Remember, if you forgot or otherwise you've got no idea, 
just mention and say no idea so that I'm aware you did receive the question, but you completely do not have an idea. Sir. Mr. Zane, go for it. Oh, I'm checking, sir, there's numbers and then there's alphabet. So it would be a bit difficult for me when there's numbers, if there's alphabet numbers, because remember, most you have two minus. So that's why I'm saying it's a little bit difficult for me. I don't okay. know, a little bit later because of this low trading thing. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me assume no idea. A last one to just give a comment on that. Larissa, a no idea. Mazozo. Mzozozo, a go for it. I suppose it's also no idea uh, from Zo. Okay, so I think we're is... gonna use that formula that says T one about T two minus T one, something like that. T three okay. minus T two. Okay, 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 hundred percent. So, um, remember, guys, uh, this is what I wanted you guys um, to remind us. So. At all the times when you are given a number pattern, we already know that we've got a problem that we need to deal with. So you don't just uh, solve the problem that you haven't analyzed. So it's more like I wanted you guys to analyze that problem. This is the process that you go through. You firstly ask yourself, what type of a problem are we dealing with is it an arithmetic pattern uh, is it a linear sequence is it a geometric sequence uh, is it a quadratic sequence so luckily in the statement it was stated that this is a linear uh, pattern so which means we now understand the type of a problem that we are dealing with that is the first step mr zay secondly before you even start looking at um the questions because we are dealing with a linear a uh, pattern we do know very well mr zane that <clears throat> what we need is that first difference which has to be common so that is why i'm going to call it the first common difference okay mr zane you did indicate that um since it has some letters it might be a, a bit tricky but if it had numbers uh, mr zane you tell me were you not going to say that term minus that term if that is the case that means you were going to have whatever the number that was there, which is now x. You are going to take that number and minus it by a uh, three. Of which, because this is a linear pattern, that means um, this can be equated to that being y minus x. Why am I saying that? It is because under linear pattern, you have the difference which is common. It doesn't need to look the same. You just need to know that it is common. So when we say it is common, it means Bantubagiti. Uh, you can equalize this and that. Otherwise, you can still equalize this um, and that. So that means if it was numbers, you're going to say 30 minus a uh, Y. But wait, uh, Mr. Zane, I'm, I'm, I'm not confident uh, that you understood what I've explained there. Can you maybe just confirm for me, um, Mr. Zane? Am, am I not confusing you there? Zozozo. 
eh, Larissa, are you sure what I'm explaining there, it makes sense? So it does. Hmm. Rodney, yeah. can, can you confirm uh, if indeed it makes sense? I'm not sure if uh, Rory forgot to unmute her mic. But most importantly, guys, in case if there's someone who's lost, just um, unmute and indicate because uh, we are now uh, starting with answering uh, the question. Okay. That's what I wanted someone to just quickly uh, indicate before we look at the question. So it's more like now, uh, we understand we're dealing with linear pattern, uh, which is that. And most importantly, in this case, it has some numbers and letters. But the procedure, it is the same. So let's quickly try to have a look at the question. Okay, calculate the values of X and Y. Mr. Zane, which means within linear pattern you can still solve some problems uh, applying your simultaneous uh, knowledge or the knowledge that you learned uh, solving simultaneous uh, equations so remember guys if it was two four six eight whatever whatever Obviously, if you say that minus that, it gives you two. If you say that minus that, it gives you two. If you say that minus that, it gives you two. So can you see, it is a linear having the first common difference. Okay, then because it is a linear pattern, that means this is actually equals to that. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. And also this, it is actually equals to that. Why? Because it is a linear pattern and also this can also be equated to that it doesn't necessarily mean that you equate them in that order of saying this is equals to that and then you say this is equals to that you can say this is equals to that or you can say this is equals to that or otherwise this is equals to that you just choose which one to equate based on how you want um, to work it out. Uh, now I'm about to apply what I've just explained there on that problem there. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Would I be correct in saying actually this thing it is equals to that? That means. I'm saying x minus 3, it is actually equals to, um, what is it, y minus x. I'm not sure if you guys agree with me on that one. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm making sense there. Because uh, you see, now we are dealing with numbers and letters. Hmm. Tabi. No good tool. Agreed. I'm, I'm suspecting you guys are wondering what's going on there. Pindi. Are we still together there? Hmm. Okay. I'll make an assumption that in case if a, there is a question in relation to what I've just done, it will just um, come through. Maybe, where, where is uh, Zane? Are, are you still there? Let me quickly check if Zane is still... Uh, no, no, I can't see Zane. Uh, but I see Lindy over there. Lindy, uh, are you okay that side? Do you allow me to continue? Or maybe... Uh, is it blurry, guys? I'm just not sure if you guys can clearly hear me because I'm not getting a response. Hamisa, is is it blurry or are we okay that side? 
Sounds fine. Okay. I just got a response that uh, we are still okay. Okay. Let's see. Now that we have equated this to that, then uh, how about we equate this to that? That means we are going to have y minus x being equals to 30 minus a y. I'm not sure if you guys uh, agree with me on that one. So I agree. Larissa says uh, she agrees. A last one to confirm. Agree. Okay. So, a uh, Denzel, Denzel. Uh, it seems like we are having two unknowns, and you do know very well that the moment you are dealing with two unknowns, you might need to work them out simultaneously. If you remember, based on our lesson, we said we might need to use one of those equations to derive equation number three. So now, uh, between these two equations, which one do you think is easier to use for deriving equation number three? And why would you say it is that specific equation? Which one and why? Sorry, say I can't see anything at the moment. I think it's because of my network problems. Uh, let me see. Guys, can you see there? Maybe let me check. Um, hmm. I'm just not sure of voice. Can you see there? Can someone just indicate if you guys are able to see there? Yes. Okay. Uh, what you can do, honorable member, you can maybe try to leave and uh, join again. So, sorry, my question again, which equation between those two can we use to derive um, equation number three? And why would you choose that specific uh, equation? The second one, sir. I think the second one, sir. I can see now. Someone is saying the second one, but why would you choose uh, the second one? I think, I think the, the first, first one. one. Yeah, me too. Someone says the first one. Okay, so let's say in this case, uh, for the purpose of us uh, noticing the difference maybe let's try to see if we can use equation number one so obviously it is the y that you can make the subject of the formula how do you do that you transpose that uh, it becomes positive x then you plus it with that x which is already there minus a uh, three so it's more like you are having two x minus three which is equals two y that you can regard as your equation number three okay maybe Let's make an assumption that you used um, this uh, equation. Obviously, uh, it is actually x that you can uh, make the subject of the formula. How would you do that? Obviously, uh, I would take this to the other side so that it becomes positive uh, y. Also, I still have uh, that y there. Then, this x, I take it to the other side so that it becomes positive x. Obviously, this, I also take it to the left uh, and it becomes negative 30, meaning I end up having 2y minus 30, which is equals to x. Uh, and we can regard that as equation number three. So, good people, can you see in this case, whether you use a equation number n or number two 
to derive equation number three, it doesn't really matter that much. Why? Because both of these equations are linear equations, which means you can choose whichever to derive equation number three. Um, so that is why you can still continue with uh, that. But most importantly, if you continue with that, uh, remember that. Maybe let me remove uh, all of that and then we just continue with uh, any equation. Maybe let's say, uh, let's continue with this one of saying y is equals to 2x minus 3. Remember, even though I wrote it as uh, that, doesn't really matter that much. Uh, you can still swap. It is still uh, the same thing. It's like uh, 2 is equals to p, p is equals to, okay. So let's now continue. Uh, that means we're going to take this equation number 3 and substitute it into equation number 2. Why 2? Because we derived this from equation number 1. Okay, so let's substitute. So that means you are having a where you see y. You are substituting 2x minus 3 a minus x, which is equals to 30 minus 2x minus 3. Sure. Why is it like I'm confusing myself there? Uh, guys, wait. Did, did I substitute correctly there? It feels like I'm missing something. I'm not sure if... Uh, now what about Y? You left Y. Where is Y? Uh, which Y, honorable member? Okay, because you say that we minus from... Number three to number two, ne? Uh, substitute, yeah. not minus. Let me quickly okay. add uh, that. Okay. Yes, we okay. substitute equation number three into equation number two. Meaning, in equation y. number two, where we see y, we substitute the whole of that. Uh, can you see now, honorable member? Okay, I get it now. You know, there's, there's a, a learner from last year, a Umi, called Shriyas. I would say, uh, maybe Hamisa or Mzozozo, you complete it. Uh, this is what I would say. You get it. If you don't get it. Forget about it. Forget about it. So, ladies and gentlemen, it feels like... Um, I've substituted correctly there. So remember, at all the times in math, uh, you start where you are having the brackets. Remember, there's an invisible one there, that by that, that by that, uh, that is a uh, 2x minus 3 minus x uh, is equals to 30, uh, invisible one, that by that, that by that, we are having negative 2x, that becomes plus 3. So uh, just to emphasize uh, the omis, uh, the reason why you made why the subject of the formula is because you wanted to know the other uh, letter. So that means if you made x the subject of the formula, that means you wanted to calculate uh, y. So that's how uh, it actually works. So now that we have substituted, uh, let's try to work out the like terms. Remember, at all the times when you're dealing with a linear equation, you always want to have letters on the left and then numbers on the right, which means uh, it would be easy if we just move all the letters to the left. Let's see, what is that and that? I think it gives us just a X. We have minus three, that minus three is equal. Let's see, uh, 30 plus three, what is that? Is it not 33? I think it's 33. So can you guys see that we are getting closer uh, to where, we, okay, there we are having x, uh, let's take this to the other side, so that it's x, it changes the sign, it is 2x, which is equals to here, we're having 33, we take it to the other side, is that. So this is what, this is 3x, isn't it? Uh, and that is what, is it 36? I think it's 36. Yes, okay. Let's remove that 3. How do we remove it? We divide by exactly 3, meaning 
uh, what is that, Bantubagiti? What is 36 divided by 3? Do I really need a car? I think it's 13. Because 1, 3. Is it not 13? Let's see. No, it's not. Uh, it's not. It's not 13. Um, hey, guys. Am I losing you there? Am I the only one who can see that it's not 13? It's 12. 12, sir. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Okay. Uh, now that we got 12, Umi, uh, let's continue, honorable member. Uh, do you not want to guess what do we do with that 12? Uh, maybe let me give it to you to just guess it, um, uh, the Umis. Are you still there, honorable member? Hmm. Seems like Um is not uh, there. Tumza the Tumza. Uh, do you not want to give it a try, Tumza? Tumzaza. Oh, there's Lin. Hey, Lindy, I didn't notice that you are here. Uh, do you not want to say something about that 12? No idea. Okay. Um, I have a question. Yes. On the third step of substitution, the where did you get the negative uh, x next to thirty-three? Is it is it that one? Are yes, you one. asking about? Yes, sir. Okay. Let's see. What was I thinking there? Okay, I'm having that. It's equals to. Then I'm having thirty minus 2x uh, plus 30. Uh, then I think I said 30 plus 33, it is that. And I think this is where it's coming from, honorable member. Uh, I'm not sure if, but wait, guys, are you sure I didn't make a mistake there? Okay, so I understand. I understand, but on the fourth step, oh, yes. Why yes, no, I don't change to positive two. Uh, now it changed to positive two. So you're asking why there is positive two? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. No, now I see. Remember, uh, in maths, we always want to have letters on the left and then numbers on the right. So I took it to the other side. Remember, it changes a sign. So the moment it crosses an equal sign, you write it in its opposite sign. Um, so... I wanted to have all the letters on the left. X is a letter, X is a letter there, but it's two letters. Uh, on this side, you are having positive 33 as it is, but can you see, you take that to the other side, it changes the sign, it becomes positive uh, 3. So now you have a uh, 1 banana plus 1 banana is 3 bananas, then that is 36, and then you end up uh, dividing both sides by 3 so that you cancel that 3 to remain with a x which is finally a 12 a, but now it's not yet done we just calculated for x which is that one being 12 there but the question said calculate for x and y meaning you take that x value and then what you do you substitute it into your equation number three meaning a, i don't have space there but you are going to then substitute there by uh, your 12. So you punch on a calculator on your next step. This is 24 uh, minus 3, I think is 21. So that means your y value it is 21. Uh, did that make sense, honorable members? Yes, it did, sir. Thank you. But did it make sense to everyone? Why am I not convinced that uh, I'm not losing you guys? Vuiswa. Tabi. Yes, it does. Lee GP. No good thing. Yes, it makes sense. Manama Mage. The Roris. Pindi. Mother of the Nation. Denzi Denzel. Danisa Muli. TG. Guys. Uh, 
make sense. Okay. 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 Uh, now, let's quickly move on to that next question, and that will conclude our lesson for today. So, uh, if um, Mr. Zain was still in the lesson, he would notice that um, when it comes to letters, it is not that much complicated. You just need to make sure that you apply uh, the basic understanding I'm that so you sorry. apply if it was letters. Voiswa, uh, uh, is it a question yes. coming through? Yes. yes, I have a question. I was going to ask, um, before we uh, finish the lesson, uh, can you quickly mm-hmm. do the last question from yesterday? The last uh, question from yesterday. Okay. Uh, hold on to that thought. And then from there, uh, we'll discuss it towards the end of uh, the lesson. Uh, just hold on to that thought, honorable member. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. Uh, okay, I'm just going to quickly explain to you what I've explained um, on the previous uh, question. So what I said was, we notice we are given a problem, but now what type of a problem is that? Do we know? Let's check the statement. It says, uh, given a quadratic pattern. So now it's a bit easy. We don't need to try and work out what type of um, a pattern is that. So since it is a quadratic number pattern, that means we are going to have the first difference which is not common, meaning it is that minus that. Uh, What are you guys getting there? That minus that. What are you guys getting there? That minus that. What are you guys getting there? Uh, 193 minus 224. This is what I'm getting. Uh, 244 is. Then uh, 148 minus 193. This is what I'm getting. A negative 45, a 109, a minus a one that, that. This is what I'm getting, 39. Okay, so now let's do that. A, what are we getting there? So we are having a negative 45, a minus, remember, in brackets, a negative 51, we are having a positive 6. Let's see. A 39 minus 45. 39 minus a negative 45. Hey, what can I do? Hmm. Why am I getting 84? Guys, what's, what's going on? Why am I getting 84? Because it's supposed to be second negative CP. Hmm? Negative. But so wait, I'm getting wait, negative. Wait. I'm getting negative wait. six. Then the, uh, you tell me why am I getting eighty four there? What can I? It's negative thirty nine. Oh yes, 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 yes. So, guys. A lesson to be learned from what I've done there. Uh, you should know that the moment you do not get a common difference, you know you've made a mistake somewhere. So in most cases, it is advisable that you just erase all of that and redo it. But luckily, you guys are well aware of what needs to be done. So you noticed that it has to be negative um, that. But most importantly, uh, Umi, um, you also need to be able to detect a mistake so that you can easily uh, explain to me that mistake uh, that I made. Okay, so 4.1, write down the next term of the pattern. I'm not sure if uh, there's someone who'd like to quickly work it out from their side and give us the answer. Um, 76. 
uh, what is it? 76. 4.1. Someone is saying uh, 76. Uh, let's see. Write down the next term of the number. Wait. I don't trust Hamisa, guys. Tumzaza, uh, do you think that answer is correct? Bonolo? Yes. Hmm. Maybe let's see what Hamisa did there. So she added that uh, to six. Why six? Because she knows it is the same for the second difference. So that means we're having negative 39. You plus it with six. Okay. That means it gives a, what is it? A negative 33. So she takes that and add it with a, that negative 33 to get, let's see, 109. A plus negative 33. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. It is 76. So that's how uh, you work out the next uh, term of a quadratic uh, number pattern. Um, guys, make sense to everyone. No idea. I'm I'm hearing no idea. Umi, is it you? Uh... Umi, is it you who's got no idea of what happened there? No, sorry, it's mistake. Hey, okay. A uh, four point two. Let's see. What are the Determine a formula for the nth term of the pattern. The formula for the nth term. Hmm. How does it look like? So when it comes to a quadratic number pattern, the moment they say the nth term, they want you to rewrite it in this a uh, format. In that format. But in short, it's more like they're saying find the A value, the B value, and the C value. That's what they are trying to say in short. And for you to do that, all of that, it is not necessary Bantubagiti. All that you need, it is just those first values. That's all that you need for you to derive uh, the nth term. So I'm not sure if you guys remember those formulas. We said this one is equals to what? I think it was, was it 2A? Uh, what was it? 2A is equals to that. Was it 2a? It's equals to uh, that. And then uh, the other one, what was it? Was it 3a plus b? Guys, please just make sure to correct me. I think it was 3a plus b. And then we said it is equals to uh, that. Uh, what is that? That is negative 51. And then lastly, I think we said a plus b plus c is equals to. Uh, that first term of which is two four four. Uh, so can I make a correction? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, maybe what is the first one? If you remember, it's two a. Two a equals to that. Yeah. Nay, being six, isn't it? Yes, sir. The Balad, second one is Balad. 3a plus c is equals to 51. What's up, principal? Uh, is it me or is the screen frozen? It's frozen. Uh, the screen is frozen. Nobody can see. Yeah. Uh... 
Uh, guys, I had an issue with the network, but now I'm connected uh, to Wi-Fi. So I'm wondering if it's clear from your side before I continue. Can someone just confirm if it's clear? Uh, can you clearly hear me? And again, uh, can you clearly see over there? Yes, I can hear you. Uh, you can hear me, but uh, there was a bad there. Is it blurry? A bit, not much. Okay, let me quickly leave and then I'll come back. Uh, uh, let's check. How about now? Uh, can someone confirm network again? Uh, I think it's back. How about now? Dini, is it still uh, blurry? I'm not sure if you guys can be able to hear me. Uh, let's see. Hamisa, is it still blurry? No, I I hmm. I wonder what can Um. Hamisa says she can see. Can someone just give me an indication if it is also clear from your side? It's a bit blurry. You can see that. Yeah. A bit blurry. Uh, possibly because of um, no service. I'm connected with a Wi Fi. Uh, how about now? Uh, is it not better? Much better. Okay. Uh, most importantly, guys, just make sure that in case if it's blurry, uh, try to make sure that you can hear what I'm saying so that uh, you also write from your side. But most importantly, if it gets to a point where it's a blurry and you completely can't see do not allow me to continue writing but just unmute and say it's blurry so that i'll try to work out something and um i re-explain where necessary very very much important ladies and because if i continue and it's blurry uh, and you're hoping to catch up at a later stage it will still appear blurry on the recorded uh, video so Someone wanted to make a correction. Uh, where was it, honorable member? Was it here? Uh, what are we having there? Is it 3A plus B is equals to that being negative 51? No, so it's supposed to be 3A plus C. Is it not that? Oh, 
then we have plus which is at a here is very easy because a do that to get the don't just start new yeah. where you is a two in exist what a value you divide you is you having three so you are breaking a pattern is it cut or Is it a one? Now it's just completely frozen. Something's definitely wrong here. I need spoons a spread me and Okay, uh, let's see now. Uh, so, so, so. How is it now? Still the same? Am I still breaking? No, I you are not breaking, you. but I'm breaking. I'm not breaking, but... Can you hear? The the screen is blurry. Let me do that. Let's see now. It's uh, still blurry. Um, so, so, so. Still blurry. Nogutula Madidan, is it still blurry? I haven't got a response. Yes, it's still blurry. Uh, yes, sir, but not that clear. Okay. Uh, I'm going to leave, try to disconnect Wi Fi, and I'll be back. Let's see now. Uh, Umi, how is it now? Guys, still the same. There's no screen, sir. No screen. Okay. Let me take it off and then bring it back. Um, so, 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 how about now? Still no screen. There is a screen, but eh. still blurry. Much better. It better. It better. Man, right. Ah, see, 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 on and off. On and off. Uh, uh, let me. Okay, I think. The other option now uh, is to end and then I'm going to restart. Uh, I'm going to end and restart.